Hey guys, how you doing? This is Sasha Chapman here with Chapman Realty Group and behind me is the Blue Bees. This is my baby. But here's the dealio. In today's video, we're talking about are you prepared to go out and spend an entire day out there in real estate? So I'm giving you guys the tips and tricks that I use to be as productive as I possibly can. What I have in my bag, what I have in my truck, and how I get so many deals done on the go. All right, but first, make sure you like and subscribe and share this video. All right, guys, let's get it. All right, guys, first things first, I got my iPad Pro, okay? I used to have the big one. I got the small one because it's easier to take around and whatnot. And I mean, I, I used to carry my laptop around. My iPad Pro does everything that I needed to do, period. So I don't care what it is I'm on, iPad Pro gets it done. Now, I love to advertise on the go. So no matter where I'm in, I want to be able to tell my story and be able to advertise and be able to let people know that I'm here to help them. To that end, all right, these are in my folders as well, but here's my buyer's guide and here's my selling guide. Now, I got these from Keeping Current Matters because Keeping Current Matters is the bomb. So basically, all I did was just slap my name, my logo, and all my information on there. And now I have a buyer and a sales guide, and they continually update them. So they are options. I keep like um, five of each on each side here. So I keep those in the pockets as well, right? And it's just really good to have that. So if you're curious about trying Keeping Current Matters, check the link down below in the description, and you can try it for free. Next. My magazine, okay, with American Lifestyle Magazine. So it's all about how you use the content. So I'd like to give these out. I also keep a lot of these in bulk because I'll go build a relationship with a certain business and I give them to them where people sit down. Barbershops, nail shops, hair salons, uh, where people get in their car service, and my dentist's office, doctor's office, and our magazines are there where people are waiting and they're going to read. But I also keep some as well so I can just give those out when I'm, when I'm meeting somebody new and fresh. So next is my presentation folders, okay? So within them, I have my listing agreement. Okay, they get their guide. They get the information about broker services, which is a form that we need here in Texas, okay? And the contracts in the back as well, as well with the listing agreement, um, the sales disclosure. So I am ready to go at all times, all right, for listings. I keep three listing presentations on me. I keep three expired presentations on me. I keep three FISBO presentations on me. And then I keep um, like six buyer presentations because I pick up buyers all the time. I get to call some Zillow or Realtor or whomever. And sometimes I come across people who are ready to go like now, now. And they're just, they don't care about who the agent is. They just want to go write a contract. And I'm here for them. You should be too. So within that, same thing. They got the magazine. They got the presentation as well. So I keep these on my person at all times. I work with a lot of buyers, okay? I legitimately show houses to like six buyers every single day. So I have to be very efficient and keep that organized. To that end, this is what I do. Everyone gets their own clipboard with their own information on it. So um, each buyer has a clipboard. So like today, I got to go show four buyers homes. This person has their clipboard. They got their information on here. And yes, I do put the times up here to let them know, hey, we got to move. Here, this one's at 10 o'clock, and this one's at 10.30, and whatnot. It's very powerful to be visual with your, with your buyer, so they can see that. I can show a person 10 homes in two to two and a half hours, right? Because I'm not driving all around town. I'll, I figure out where they want to be first, and I'll make that happen. And then I have my own clipboard here, right? In which I have everybody who I'm taking on a tour in here. So usually Stephanie writes like the name, the time, on each one of these and I just keep, and I know my day is going to go from that perspective. I legitimately lose these things like all the time. Buy some cheap dollar store is what I do because I have lost maybe 20 of them just sitting out there floating in the world. I'm sorry Steph. I bet. Now I like to build relationships so when I'm out there I may stop by a business or if I'm doing an open house I come across someone I don't know. So in order to build a relationship let's say the open house I need that corner lot. I need to use that sidewalk. We know it's not their property. We get that. But that don't mean they don't cut it. So to be respectful, bam, gift cards. So I keep um, Chick-fil-A gift cards. I keep um, Starbucks gift cards. And I say, hey, sir, um, I know you don't own this piece of property, but I get it. You take care of me, and I really appreciate it. But I got an open house. I just want to use that corner. So here's a Starbucks gift card. That's the script. 
or that's what I say. I don't do scripts, but that's what I say. All right. And I put the card out there before they say yes or no. And they're like, okay. And then I send them, a, um, I would then send them a CMA, right? Or I had actually, I, I print the CMA now. That's what I've been doing. I just print the CMA and say, here, I got a market analysis of your home. Here's what's going on. Here's the gift card. Here's what your home is worth. Um, take a look at it. Let me know. And I have legitimately picked up two listings that way. Just saying. I do a lot of videos. You guys know that, all right? So I'm videoing all the time, like now. So to that end, I gotta have my equipment with me. So my GoPro here, I'm rocking the GoPro 7 because it has a stabilizer. I used to have the carrier stabilizers around all the time. Most of the time I'm shooting video with this, but sometimes I don't like to wait for the compression of it. So I keep that here in my GoPro bag. So I always have that. And also a lot of times I film with my phone, right? Uh, if the GoPro is tripping or something like that, I will film with my phone. This is the stabilizer that I use now. This here is the uh, DJI, okay? It's pretty darn good. It's actually pretty good. I've had a lot of gimbals. I kind of go through them. I guess I'm destructive, but um, this one works out awesomely. Legitimately, yesterday, I put a guy under contract through video. Through video. I shot all the videos with my um with my phone, uploaded them to Bomb Bomb, sent those over to him. He and his wife were able to see it. They are way out in Kansas City, not able to get down here in Texas. They saw four homes, looked at them, put an offer in under contract. Three hours of work, guys. Three hours of work, and these guys are buying a $350,000 home. Bam! Just saying. Last but not least, coronavirus is out there. I want to be safe. Mask for my clients, mask for myself. Hashtag still selling. So we got that going and then we have a couple more things let's go ahead and jump into that in the back seat okay so in my back seat here up under the seat i have everything else i need i got gloves i got my door stopper i got my lock boxes so i have all that stuff there i do have a tripod right there this here has all the extra forms i need blank contracts um blank list agreements blank everything the documents that i deem necessary information about broker services you name it i do have my ink I have an extra um, cord here. I have extra ink and I have paper. And the most important thing, my mobile printer. Yes, I have a mobile printer and that's how I roll because I do business on the go. Sometimes people don't wanna do dot loop or whatever electronically. And so I print off everything and get the deal done. Whatever it takes guys, that's what I do. All right, guys, I hope you like this particular video. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And if you're curious about getting into the business and you're trying to figure this thing out, you can schedule one-on-one -on -one with me. Or if you're in the business and not being as successful as you want to, you can also schedule a one-on-one -on -one with me. All right? I'd be more than happy to talk to you about real estate in general, um, coming over to EXP, you name it. Like, share, subscribe. Peace.